Hello? I just want to make a quick video about, like, what is the Monster High doll that I hope gets introduced into Gen, Gen 3 the most? Nephra, of course. Nephra? Have been, have been my favorite Monster High character ever since I first getting her Boo York Boo. Boo York doll in 2014 or 2015, just out of curiosity. Yeah, I just want to talk about the story of how I got into Monster High. Back when I knew nothing about it. Back when it, I was a teenager. So, I'm just... So, I'm it. For, for a while, I didn't have much to do other than schoolwork or playing video games. Yeah, I used to play a lot of Pokemon. I loved Pokemon. It was so fun. It still is, really. But I do want to talk about what got me interested in dolls. In 2013, I got a Mattel Elsa doll for Christmas. That doll be became a comfort doll. So, of course, after her, I kind of got curious. Like, what was popular and stuff. So, of course, I kind of got into, like... Like Elsa, like Elsa dolls, of course. I've got like six of them because Elsa's such a comfort character currently, and what she was and still kind of is. Other than her, though, like I was like I would go on Amazon and and I would watch like doll reviews on YouTube, and then I'd get like a lot of Monster High stuff. If I recommended. I started really kind of following with it. I started reading the reviews on, on Amazon. And it's funny because I admit I got an, a sense of curiosity reading the negative ones especially. And being from a more conservative family, like... I, I was wondering why are, why are there some people complaining about these dolls? Are they really that horrible? Are they really that that delicate? So then, just out of curiosity, I go through several of them to to pick one, to to try out the line and see if I like it. At this point, I haven't seen much of the webisodes. I haven't seen any of the Monster High movies. I'm just looking at these dolls. And judging them from my objective teenage perspective. And another thing that also may have influenced my bias is I was really big into Rick Reardon books. I have like the whole Percy Jackson series. I have all of its spinoffs. So yeah, I love those books. And then this one series he wrote, the, the Cain Chronicles, focused on Egyptian mythology and I found it so cool and so fascinating. So I guess when I was just looking at the dolls, like, Nephra stood out as being the prettiest to me. Like, out of all the ones I saw on Amazon, like, Nephra was just so beautiful. So I, I asked my parents, and soon enough, I get her her Bjork, Bjork doll, and I, well, I adore this doll. Like, she is beautiful. Like... From her little breastplate to the, to how like, classy her dress is underneath it. Like, she's beautifully designed. She's gorgeous. And her, like, Egyptian motifs are amazing. Like, I just love the feel of her. I loved her aesthetic. Like, she's so beautiful. And to, like, kind of show how amazing Gen 1 Monster High dolls are. Yeah. <laughs> This doll is, like, at least, like, nine or so years old. So she is, like, an older doll, but just look at this quality. This is what made me fall in love with Monster High back in the day. Seeing this on a Playline doll. Because she's stunning. She's beautiful. I honestly love this doll. She's one of my top favorites.
I never restyle her. I never mess with her. And she's amazing. She's she's perfect. And then, sometime later, my dad is lucky enough to find her signature release on eBay. So that's how I have, like, signature Nephra. Because I know she's a very rare doll. And people will ask, how did I get her? How do I have Nephra signature doll? Well, eBay. <laughs> Pretty much. I know for one of my, my birthdays, I got, like, I got Cleo. Because she had to have her sister. So, of course, I had to get Cleo. And this was the 2015 re-release of her. She's beautiful, by the way. Like, even if she's a re-release, she's still a beautiful doll. Like, look at that hair blend. The, look at how nice this tinsel has held up. And that face. Her face is stunning. Unfort unfortunately, her, like, straps holding up her, her bodysuit <laughs> have disintegrated, but I love her anyways. She is one of my favorite Cleo dolls that I own just because of the nostalgia with her and having her and Nefra together. Like, it's so cool. Like, I, I never separate these two, really, because even if they hate each other in Monster High Cannon, like, they're still sisters. They're still siblings. I really don't have the heart to separate these two. <laughs> and you can tell it's the re-release of Cleo from that year because her shoes are just gold and unpainted. But and she and I may have lost like her or her like tiny bracelet like years ago. But like she is beautiful. She is a stunning doll, and. I mean, I do feel tempted to try to, to get her reproduction with her and Deuce. And I admit, part of me wants to unbox it, but like a part of me doesn't because like this will always be like probably my fair Cleo, even if her face probably isn't as faithful to her original face. from her original like non-reproduction doll but I love this doll I love her dark lip she's her, I love her makeup she's beautiful she's a gorgeous Cleo doll like something I always love about Cleo Nephra is like their designs are consistently good I may not have every Cleo doll or every Nephra doll but Cleo's designs are so beautiful even her G3 doll, like, is really pretty. Like, her face is just, look at that face. She's just an ethereal, gorgeous doll. Like, and the red lip. Something that has, like, turned me away from some Gen 3 Cleo releases is because some of them have, they, they gave her a pink lip. Personally, for Cleo, I love the red lip. I love the more experimental lip colors, but not pink. The pink lip doesn't work on her. Mattel, if you're seeing this, please don't, don't try the pink lip on Cleo. Pink is not her color. She looks better in red. Seriously. Pink is not Cleo's color. So stop trying to give her a pink lip. And anyways... I know Nefra's design was revealed in the Gen, Gen 3 show. And it's pretty cool. And I can't wait to see how it's executed in doll form. Like, seriously. If Nefra's original Gen 1 dolls are this beautiful, I can only imagine how beautiful they can make her Gen 3 doll. Like, seriously, the bar is raised pretty high for this one because Nefra is a stunning character. She's gorgeous. She's absolutely breathtaking. Like, you cannot make her look bad. I mean, you can, but, like, 
it takes a lot to make her look bad or ugly. And she is stunning. She is a beautiful, gorgeous, stunning Egyptian doll. And also with Gen 3, if they make another Nefer doll, that isn't in the, that Cleo Nefer 2 pack that is rumored to release eventually, which I would definitely want to get it because I love Nefra, but yeah. I feel like making a Gen 3 Nefra doll or an Nefra doll that isn't going to be like mainly taken by like a bunch of scalpers is really going to give more people a chance to own a doll of Nefra, even if it's Gen, if, even if it's Gen, Gen 3. And I hope Mattel does her justice. Because you know me and NNV are going to be judging her review extra harshly. Just because of the high expectations I have for her. And how nostalgic she is. Yeah, I just want to talk about how I hope Mattel... Does Gen 3 Nefra right? And they make her amazing. And also, if you're ever lucky enough to get your hands on a Gen 1 Nefra, don't hesitate. <laughs> She's beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. And she is worth it. Like, she is one of those Monster High dolls that is rare for a reason. Because she's just so beautiful. She's so amazing. Even if her character literally acts like a, mal a malignant narcissist just to make Cleo look like a better person. I'm sorry, I know. But I just want to ramble about Nefra a bit and just how important and special she is to me because... And I admit, I didn't like Gen 3 Nefra at first because she was, she seemed too nice to me. I liked Nefra being a mean girl, but I admit, like, her design in the show is kind of growing on me, so maybe I'll like her doll, especially if they execute it really well. <laughs> well, goodbye, mysterious audience. I love you. And that was just me kind of talking about about Nefra and Cleo, and especially Nefra. <laughs>